Our recent Crokinole rules clarification videos have really got some fantastic feedback and we've also had some questions come in. Specifically, we got an email question from Mike and the gist of his question was, what if two friends are playing, there's no referees, it's just a friendly game and they cannot come to an agreement whether something was a valid shot or not, whether the shooter's button actually make contact with the opponent's disc or not. How should we handle it? Clearly, you should throw hands. Square off! A real Donnybrook. Chuck some knuckles. Hey, he's full of hair! He's full of hair! If you don't like any of those suggestions, you may want to consider what we call the Hutch Daddy Principle. A little bit of a story here. If you don't enjoy a good story about behind the scenes of the National Crokinole Association tour, then my suggestion would be, end of the laneway, don't come up the property. It was two or three years ago, we were playing in the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championships in Brucefield, Ontario. I mean, this is serious stuff. The Doubles Championship is going down. I'm partnered with my good friend, Roy Campbell, and we're playing in a match against Andrew Hutchinson and Connor Ryman. If you've watched any amount of the amazing footage on Crokinole Center, you're gonna be familiar with both of those names. Andrew Hutchinson, affectionately known as Hutch Daddy, is one of the best players in the circuit and just a fantastic guy. There's at one point in the match when Andrew accidentally bumped the table, at which point one of our buttons fell into the 20 hole. Now, if you've reviewed the rule book, you know that there is a rule that says you are not allowed to bump the table. But what there is not a rule about is what are the repercussions if you do touch the table. So the point is we're in the middle of a pivotal match between two top contending teams. Hutch Daddy bumps the table, one of our buttons falls in, four players are looking at each other going, uh, what do we do now? Right away, Hutch Daddy's like, you know what guys, that was my fault, your 20 is going to count. So that was the agreement that we came to on the spot. But the point is that even in a competitive match that the outcome did matter, we were still able to quickly look at it, even though there isn't a black and white rule, and come up with something that seemed fair to everyone at the table. And I've singled Andrew out because he's a great guy, great player for you, you'd know him in the, in the Crokinole Center footage. But the truth is that's been our experience every step of the way on the NCA tour. Even in important matches at world championships, even when something comes up that isn't completely black and white, the players at the table are able to apply common sense, common decency, and come up with something that makes sense. So the next time you're in a match, whether it's a friendly Friday night tournament or something that really matters and there's big money on the line, if you're not able to determine 100% clear, pull out your inner hutch daddy and just make the decision that makes sense and then keep on enjoying the greatest game on earth. <laughs> a tilly. A knuckle duster. Game of buckets.